Hello everyone, this is Episode 5 and welcome to the Global Mass Central Toy Review. And today saw you looking at the 2011 release by Hasbro of the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra Action Figure Review. And today's action figure review we're looking at the Wave 5 of the CD Strike Cobra Trooper. Now I got on this straight from eBay by buying a whole set of Wave 5 figures and each of the figures cost me 55 ringgit which is a bit more pricier compared to the retail pricing of 39 ringgit and 90 cents. Not much of a choice because Hasbro Malaysia never actually brought in any of the Wave 5 figures to Malaysia at all so I have to resort on getting this straight from eBay. Now let's take a look at the front part packaging itself. On one corner here we got a nice little artwork, a very realistic artwork of the Cobra Trooper arming himself with the Dragonov sniper rifle, very nice. And inside the plastic bubble we got the figure and each hand of the figure itself is wielding the pistol armed with the silencer. Next to the figure here we have the RPG anti-tank rocket and here we have the Dragonov sniper rifle. Below the figure is the barbed wire, as you can see here, and behind the figure is the base stand. Underneath the base stand, there's the small little catalog that features Wave 1 and Wave 2 figures. Now, at the back portion of the packaging itself, this section here listing out the small little write up stating what the G.I. Joe is really about and who they are up against, which is Cobra. This time, the mission is CD Strike, and you've got a nice little diorama. For the CD Strike diorama here, you got the CD Strike beachhead hiding behind a wall on perhaps one of the alleys itself. You got the CD Strike Firefly as well, and the Riso Cobra Night Adder figure is also there along with his Rottweiler dog. Here we have the Cobra Fury tank, very nice diorama. Now at the bottom section here is the profile card, you got a nice little image of the Cobra Trooper here stating Cobra Trooper primary weapon MR-SCI precision rifle standard Cobra issue. It's actually a Dragonov sniper rifle but I'm not too sure why they put this kind of name into it. Combat gear, helmet, assault rifle, there is no assault rifle, tactical knife, pistol, Silencer, rocket propelled grenade launcher, which is the RPG rocket launcher, barbed wire. Now, in a smaller write up stating that one of the nameless, faceless re legions of the Cobra organization, each Cobra trooper is highly skilled in the use of explosives, infantry weapons, sabotage, and the martial arts. They swear absolute loyalty to their leader, Cobra Commander. Their goal is to conquer the world for their own evil purposes. Very nice. But again, there is no well assault rifle being packaged into this. Anyways, let's open up this packaging so we can molest the figure. Be right back. And we're back of the figure and the rest of out from the packaging itself. So let's take a look at the Cobra Troopers accessories. Starting off with the base stand. Now it comes with a nice little base stand that based on the 25th anniversary mode. You've got a nice little Cobra logo on the top here with two pegs for the figure to stand on. At the nameplate that stated as Cobra Trooper. At the back portion here that stated as 2007 Hasbro made in China. Now the Cobra Trooper here comes with a whole lot of accessories but majority of the accessories itself is not new at all. They are all old stuff. Some of them are semi new but I'll explain later. First, comes with a nice little combat knife. Now, the entire thing is not painted at all, it's just pure black plastic material. I really wish they paint the blade. It would be much more nicer if they play, paint the blade itself. And the handle itself has a little bit of details, but not a lot. You can store the knife onto the figure's right ankle, where there's a knife sheath there, you can store the knife there. Then it comes with a pair of pistols, same pistols with a silencer on. Now this is not painted at all, this is made of a pure plastic color and this is nothing new. This is based on the wave 3 of the desert battle snake eyes. Yes, snake eyes actually well were equipped with this accessory 
and the entire thing here got a nice little detail but not a whole lot you got the gun itself you got the handle you got a very tiny trigger there's no trigger guard and you've got the silencer attached onto the pistol itself which you can remove like so there's a smaller pink there now you can store the pistol onto the figure's right sided tie there's a gun holster there but you end up having another pistol which you have nowhere to store so I'm not too sure why they gave an extra pistol it's not a bad thing to have an additional, additional accessory but it's, it will be great to have a figure to able to store it then we have his Dragonov sniper rifle here, which is nothing new. The mode is actually based on the 25th anniversary mode that the Cobra Troopers are, well, they all equipped with the Dragonov rifle. The entire thing is made of a black plastic material with a little bit of paint job. The handle is painted in brown and so does the body here. Now, there's a little bit of details going on. You got a scope on the top with a stock and a mag, a candle with no trigger. As you can see, I'm not too sure why they didn't bother the a smaller trigger there and you've got a magazine clip on this section and the barrel with the sights on the top very nice I really wish that they place an additional mode onto the rifle itself to give a strap so he can actually hang it onto the shoulder then we have the RPG anti-tank rocket which is also nothing new there made of a black plastic material the mode is actually based on the 25th anniversary Cobra Bazooka Trooper the one with the really blue paint job the light blue paint job now the bazooka is nothing new it's the same thing made of a black plastic material with a little bit of paint job the bottom section of the bazooka itself is actually painted in light brown and the top section here is painted in so I'm green for the rocket head there's a little bit of details for the entire rocket itself the rocket launcher you got two handles at the bottom here and also a targeting sight on the top very nice again I really wish they gave an additional mode for the rocket launcher itself by giving it a strap so he can hang it onto the shoulder or something then we have his helmet now the helmet here is also nothing new this is based on the 25th anniversary DVD battle pack the 5th DVD battle pack that consists of a chrome face Cobra Commander with the Cobra Claw and a bomb Alpine Duke with a jetpack and a Cobra Trooper with this helmet along with the video camera yes this is actually based on that mode however the DVD 5 pack well it never actually released out to the public it was cancelled so it was quite hard to actually get that I'm actually quite fond of this helmet because well it's actually much more nicer in design however it's made of a flesh tone plastic material as you can see inside there and the outer section of the helmet is painted in dark blue why are they so cheap of not painting the inside of the helmet just painting the, just the outside because when you place this helmet onto the figure you can still see at the edges there of this flesh tone plastic color so I really don't like it that Hasbro have the result to be that cheap on painting the helmet itself then we have a row of barbed wire which is made of a grey plastic material this barbed wire is nothing new it actually came from the Pursua Cobra Desert Battle Dusty. Then we have his web gear. The web gear is made of a black plastic material with a little bit of paint job on the buckle, painted in silver. This thing is also nothing new. The mold is actually, well, from the 25th anniversary line itself. There's a little bit of details for the entire web gear. You got pouches, got the strap, buckles molded gun I really wish they actually put a holster on today web gear itself instead of having this molded gun so you can actually store the extra gun pouches on the side more pouches on this side and at the buckle there that's where the button comes from you can see the button behind the buckle itself and that's the hole there and it's quite easy for the figure to wear it or remove it without popping the head off now let's take a look at the figure's paint job 
Now the figures paint job is rather disappointing because Hasbro is rather cheap on the figures paint job. First things first, majority of the parts are not painted at all, it's just pure plastic color. All of them. Well, at least majority of them. The head itself is made of a flesh tone plastic color. Yes, the flesh tone here is not painted. So they actually painted the dark brown hair, the eyes and the pupils and the face mask that's painted in black. Now, the entire torso here, as you can see, even the neck joint here, they don't even bother to paint it, leaving it just dark blue, which is rather cheap of them. They could have painted it black. Oh, well, what can you do? The chest area here, you got a nice little cobra logo. On one side of the arm itself, there's a smaller cobra logo, except the other side don't have it. As you can see, the small little cobra logo. Then the entire torso, waist, the arms are not painted at all. They didn't even bother to paint the belt itself, so it's rather cheap of them. Making this figure rather, well, rather cheap. The ties itself, the straps, the black straps and the silver straps are actually painted, which is very nicely done. However, uh, on the holster and the side pouches, they are made of black plastic color, so they are not painted. Kneecaps are not painted at all because the kneecap is a separate piece which you can remove it like so. There's a pink there. And the kneecap is made of a black plastic material. The actual kneecap is made of dark blue plastic material. And then we have the lower legs here. The lower leg section here is not painted at all except for this section which is painted in black. And then we have the knife sheath here which is an add-on. This is made of a black plastic material and they're not painted and so does the boots rather cheap of them for this figure lacking so much paint job details if it's properly painted it will look absolutely gorgeous but rather disappointing actually but it's still alright because the mold is something we wanted to check out now the entire figure's mold has nothing new yes nothing new at all all of them are reused parts Let's start off with the head. The head mold came from the Resolute Cobra Trooper. Identical twins. Now, the entire arms, torso, waist, you guessed it if you can, came from the Pursuit of Cobra Shock Trooper. Then finally, the entire pair of legs here actually came from the Wave 3 Desert Battle Snake Eyes from the Pursuit of Cobra line as you can see that <laughs> exactly same to, same mold with no changes at all so it's quite rather disappointing because there's no new body mold for the figure but I really like the Shock Troopers body mold and I really like the leg mold itself what I really wish is that well at least give us something new but the combination is not bad. I really like the combination. Now let's take a look at the figure's articulation. The head can pivot up and down, surprisingly enough, as you can see, just a tiny little bit, and go side to side a little bit, and turn 360 degrees. Torso can move forward a little bit, and back, and turn 360 degrees. Shoulder joints can turn 360 degrees, and lift the shoulders this high. Elbow joint here can bend this far, turn 360 degrees cannot bend backwards of course now for the wrist joint well like the shock trooper figure itself or any other figures with the new wrist joints the wrist can turn 360 degrees on the right sided wrist joint itself it can pivot downwards and upwards the left sided wrist joint can turn 360 degrees goes inwards and outwards very nice so posing this figure with a sniper position is actually not bad except for the neck joint because you cannot pivot the head all the way up and hip joint here despite that is a bit loose but I have a feel more of the Cobra Troopers so some of the joints are really super tight so but somehow this one the quality control is not that great the hip can move forward all the way up back a little bit and to the sides double jointed knee that bends all the way back this far I really like the joints there allows you to bend the legs all the way 
and ankle joint here that pivots downwards, upwards, and turn 360 degrees. Now let's fully equip our Cobra Trooper. Now I am a bit disappointed that he comes with a lot of accessories but he has no way at all to carry all the accessories. I really wish some of the rifle uh, some of the weapons itself like the Dragonov rifle itself and the RPG rocket would come with a strap so he can actually strap it around behind him or onto the shoulders if he's not using the weapons. I really wish they actually gave him that kind of option but it's a pity that they didn't bother to do something like that. Now what's really cheeses me off is the pistol itself because the pistol is extremely thin and the holster hole is rather large so when you try to place it in it tends to pop off from the holster quite easily rather easily and we place the dragon off sniper rifle on one hand and place the RPG rocket on the other hand as you can see the left hand uh, the, the hand is not gripping it quite tightly enough but it's still able to grip it then we are left with the pistol which I have no idea where to place it because there is no other place to place the pistol itself and there you have it we have the fully equipped Cobra Trooper now the figure is actually not bad Granted that I really like the new body modes for the Shock Trooper and the combination of the parts itself plus the legs from Snake Eyes is actually making it very nice. You have a Cobra Trooper with arm with several weapons, a knife, a pistol with a silencer of course and then you have the Dragonoff rifle and a bazooka. Really nicely done. He is way he is packed with way more weapons compared to the 25th anniversary Cobra Trooper way more so this is very nice what i really don't like is the lack of paint job the lack of paint job really goes a long way and if the paint job has been added onto the figure itself with the smaller details the figure will look absolutely gorgeous but well you get what you get so if i'm gonna give a rating on this i'll say i'll give it a seven out of ten Yes, 7 out of 10 for the Cobra Trooper because there's nothing new for the parts itself and the paint job is lacking the finer details of the paint job are lacking so 7 out of 10 for the Cobra Trooper I thank you all for watching this is Lucy05 and I'm signing off